What do we got? A credit card! Excellent! We can go buy all the things. Hello, friends, and welcome to Let's Play Phineas Saw Game. For, for real this time, I'm your host, Magic Man Mo, uh, and today's video is actually the video I meant to, to, to do a long time ago when I played, not a long time ago, a little bit ago, uh, Phineas and Ferb Monster Hunters. I was looking for Phineas Saw Game and clicked on the wrong link. Whatever. Here we are. Uh, it's a point and click game. It's one of those Inca Games games that we always play. Um, but this time it's a Saw game instead of Monster Hunter R -R Ring. And it says Phineas. Oh, I didn't even read the thing. I'm an idiot. I'm guessing Ferb got uh, kidnapped. <laughs> Another summer day in Danville, and I bet Ferb will come up with something to do. By the way, so far today I haven't seen Ferb anywhere, and that's strange. I love his face straight on. Perry is gone as well, although he usually disappears. I always see him before he does, so this is strange also. And by this time, Isabella should be already asking me, Hi, Phineas, what you doing? And she hasn't, hasn't, which is even weirder. This is so weird. Well, there's a TV in the tree. Hi, Phineas. Uh, well, this one probably doesn't. I uh, know. Uh, Candace, what's up with your face? That makeup looks awful. <laughs> we'll gotta go with that one. Enough with the jokes, Phineas. Listen carefully. I have kidnapped three persons you care a lot about: Isabella, Ferb, and your beloved pet Perry. Oh no, he's kidnapped Perry. Hey, that's not nice. I demand you set them free right away. Easy, Phineas. Their freedom depends upon what you choose to do. I don't understand. What do you want me to do? I want you to play a game. You see, I have follow your inventions pretty closely, and I have to say you've amazed me with the things you've accomplished. Apparently, you're very smart, but I still have my doubts. Today, you'll be given the chance to prove everything that you are the smartest kid in the tri-state area. You'll have to find the secret place where I'm holding your friends prisoners and rescue them. I've placed some nice traps for you, so don't be too confident. Win or lose, make your choice. Oh my goodness. We kind of saw that coming though, right? I've got to rescue Isabella, Ferb, and Perry as soon as possible. It would be funny if we go to go rescue them, and then pa by the time we get there, Perry has already figured out a way to rescue them himself. That would be kind of funny. I see. I already see a teleporter, which is never a good sign, but uh, we'll ignore it for the time being because we're going to look and see what's down here. What's down here? Oh, that's going indoors. There's Candace on the phone with uh, probably some some friend there's an X here why would we want to do that can we talk to Candace I want to uh, does she have something we need hi Candace ah hi Phineas good talk good talk uh, can we punch her <laughs> in the face that's Candace looks like she's talking to Stacy she's talking to Stacy can we go back out here we we can't go back outside but we can go further into the house it would seem okay we recognize the house a little bit from our last adventure a piece of paper can we read it? Shark repellent formula. To prepare repellent for sharks, mix two drops of boric acid, one drops of hydrofluoric acid, and two drops of ammonia. Well, we don't have any of those things yet, so we'll worry about that later. We've got a banana. Should we eat it? Can we eat it? Eat the banana! Because uh, we might need the peel at least we needed the peel last time and the monkey there's a an orangutan there's a lot of shoes in here is this candace's room or is this mom's room mom what are you wearing when have you gone on a hawaiian adventure 0603 1990 1990 i wonder if that information is going to be useful should i remember it i don't even have my phone on me um, 6-3-1990. We'll have to remember that. That's mom's picture of when she danced the Hawaiian dance. The hula. Dance the hula. Hula hula. Uh, do we need to get these shoes? Do we collect the shoes? Is there a reason for so many shoes? There's a thing down here. What do we got? A credit card. Excellent. We can go buy all the things. All the things can be bought. Can we look at the mirror? Can we talk to the mirror? The old trick of the dirty mirror. What? Oh, did we, we, we like breathed into it or something? Nine? 
It's not necessary any. It's not necessary anymore. There's a clock up here. Do we need to change the clock? That says three. Maybe nine three, and the number of shoes or something. There's three green shoes. Oh my gosh. There's two red ones and four blue ones. Why is there only three green shoes? You would think there would be four. They always come in pairs, right? Well, I don't know what any of this is, so we're gonna just leave and come back. All right, so this is our room. Is there anything in our room that we can take, that we need, that we can do? Uh, I can click on the nose again. It looks like, let's go into our secret room, our secret lair. There's gotta be good stuff in here. There's the robo dog. can we pick it up? Yes, we can! Inventions like this guys uh, make Candace accuse me to do I don't know what you just said <laughs> A dropper Yeah, pick up the dropper. Oh, I picked up everything a dropper a mixer boric acid hydro Hydrofluoric acid ammonia. I struggled with that word a little bit so we can probably use the dropper Let's go ahead and make the shark repellent two drops boric There we go. That's the two drops of boric, and then we need a drop of hydro and two of ammonia. Sure. And then two drops of ammonia. There. That looks like the formula worked. We made some shark repellent. I don't know what we're going to need that for. I mean, probably for a shark. We no longer need to hold the ingredients. Okay, excellent. We don't need to carry that junk around with us. Can we take the portal with us? Do we need to send another cookie monster to Mars? Oh, we've got a thing here. Um, is it 0603199? Nope, that's not the password. Well, what about 1990? 9, 19, He didn't actually tell me that was wrong. Was that was that wrong? It had to have been wrong. Um, we need another number though, right? Uh, it looks like it can hold four numbers. Is it something in... Where's mom's room? Over here? There's a nine here, a three here. I don't see any other numbers. There's several uh, numbers of items. Like there's like three hearts and there's a number of shoes. But there's only three colors of shoes, and it looks like it can hold four numbers? Can I look at the credit card? No, I thought maybe the credit card might have numbers on it. Well, I don't know what we need the portal for, so I'm just gonna leave and come back for now. So what do we have? We're currently at Phineas's house, and we can't go to the abandoned building or Danville Park or Danville Mine just yet. So let's go to the bank, which looks oddly like a house with a giant pile of money on it. Tri-State Area Bank. Okay, excellent. Are there anything in the shrubs? It doesn't look like it, but what is this? Some, some metal? Is it a bumper? It looks like a car bumper. A rock and a metal bar. Okay. I don't know what we're going to use that for. I don't know. Let's go inside the bank. Can we give them our credit card for some real money? Does that work? Is it a credit card or a debit card? Bank teller. Let's talk to the bank teller, who looks incredibly bored. I don't think we should interrupt her unless we're going to make a bank transaction. Well, that's exactly what I would like to do. The credit card alone won't be enough to make a bank transaction. Oh, do we need some sort of photo ID? Maybe. Maybe we need some sort of ID. Alright, well, uh, we can't do that, because I don't know how. Let's go to the dock. Let's check out the dock. There's a shark! And a boat. Can I take the boat? I can take the boat. Uh, do we throw the shark repellent at the shark? Oh, we just dropped it in the water. Oh, it's in the water now. Now he doesn't want any part of that. Oh, oh, that unlocked the abandoned building. Can I put the boat in the water? I can. So if I get into the boat, if I get onto the boat, do I need a paddle? I don't know. I might need some kind of paddle. So let's go. All right, we'll get out of the boat, and then we'll use the. <laughs> just kind of float it on out of there. Let's go to the abandoned building next. Okay, we can go in the building or off to the side. Let's go inside the building. Oh, this doesn't look. Oh, there's a key. But how do we get to it? It's too high. Can we use Robo Dog or a metal bar? No, no. We need a ladder of some kind. It's too heavy, and you can't lift it. Oh, and this has the pig soft face on it. So this must be where our our uh, friends and family are being kept. It's gotta be. Uh, but we don't have a way of getting that key yet, so let's leave. 
I don't know what's gonna be in the box. What's in the box? <laughs> let's see what's over. Oh my god, that's horrifying! The Mad Hatter. All right, let's talk to the Mad Hatter, shall we? Shall we talk to the Mad Hatter? Good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon. What do you want to buy? I just spat all over my TV. Uh, my TV. My computer screen. Uh, buy? Aren't you the Mad Hatter? What are you? What are you selling? What are you selling, Mad Hatter? I'm selling holographic projectors. And how much do they cost? Uh, fifty dollars a piece. <laughs> Interesting. I could use a holographic projector. I don't know what for, but sure. Um, but we need money, which means we need the bank teller. And to get the bank teller to give us money, we need like some kind of photo ID or something. We need more. We need a banana. I'm a little stuck. I'm a little stuck. Where, where do we go from here? We don't have these places unlocked. It's got to be... I wonder if we can cut out the picture, though, right? Can we take out... Can I take the picture, like, for her face? I need to cut the picture out, maybe, with, um, with a metal bar. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this nine means. I'm up a creek without a paddle, guys. I don't know what to do. Well, that's a good time to stop. So I'm going to go ahead and think about it some more. But for the time being, I'm going to stop the episode right there. Which means I want to thank you all so much for watching. And I hope to see you on the next episode of Magic Man Mo. Bye!